how we identify triggers. So the definition of a trigger is something, uh, it, it's kind of subjective because it can be a, a person, place, or thing. It can be, it doesn't have to be a specific thing. We all have our own triggers. Some of them can be good, some of them can be bad, some of them can be just flat out annoying. An annoying trigger for me is the TV at about eight o'clock at night because in our old lifestyle that we used to live, we used to eat in front of the TV at night. That was a comforting thing for us. And so sometimes it can be a physical thing like a television. Um, sometimes a trigger could be a thing like a movie theater. The, you walk into the theater and you smell, you know, the popcorn and, and all of the, you know, the enjoyment that we used to have when we went into the movie and just kind of gorged ourselves with the unlimited popcorn with the butter, all of those things that can be triggering. Uh, for some people, it could be stress. It could be people. You could have somebody, you could have be having this the most amazing day and the person that you have the most annoyance with comes into your life and says, ta-da, here I am. And you are triggered. And your first thought is, man, I would just feel better if I could pick up this candy bar. I could feel better. It could be your schedule. Um, you know, quite honestly, Darcy, um, just so you heads up, think about some of your triggers um, that you have, um, because mine is crazily as it is, I get triggered by stress. Uh, when I am working with the media or with, uh, when I'm working with a, a really stressful policy situation, my, my uh, pulse starts to, you know, to spike. And I start to, um, the last, the last, um, situation that I went through, we were working on a policy situation. And I remember standing over my counter as I was in an intense policy, you know, I was speaking with a politician, I was working on some, you know, some um, language in this bill. And I remember looking,